All right, I'm Queen of Pentacles, Sarah 333. Let's read. Let's do another reading, y'all. I think I'm just going to stick with just messages, I think. Let me look. Just messages because, you know, I just want to stick with messages. Let's see. First message. That card don't even belong there. Hmm. But I'm a, okay. First message, I'm gonna use these in. A rich man. Somebody thinking about their money for real. Oh, okay. Money don't make you happy. They said a rich man having murky thoughts. You know, they ain't happy. They rich, but they, ain't, they got everything they need. But they don't have you. I feel like somebody is going to be meeting somebody like that. Like a rich person. They not happy with their life. They could be a lonely person. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, the reason I said they um, don't have you is say a good lady, a good lady or a man. So it could be a rich man or a woman who don't have everything that they want. They look lonely. All they're doing is looking at themselves in a mirror. So they got, they got everything and everything. I mean, look at them. They dress real nice. They're sitting at a vanity and everything like that. So a rich man could think that you're beautiful. Or a rich woman can think that you're handsome. Or a man or woman. It don't matter. But anyway, let's read. Take it how it resonates. Expectations. Okay. A change. They could be all over the place. Taking trips and everything. Like that here. This person right here, you know, just goes with the flow. And they can, you know. They keep telling me that. That you're going to get a pleasant letter here remember it told me good news and when i just shuffled when i said that card don't belong in the deck that go that good news again so some good changes is coming your way and something about a small child here and some unexpected money okay wait let me look at these people um let me see. A rich girl, I'm telling you. They not even together. But somebody here wants somebody to meet their expectations here. And you finna get some good news or something like that here. Man or woman. Good. The house. Mm. Hold on. I feel like this person could be suffering from some kind of depression, though. And I told you I'm just going to get some messages now. What's the next message? Flying. I told you they'd be all over the place. This person going on a trip, a big trip. I've been looking for you everywhere, all around the world. And I just met you. Hey, how are you? You're being watched online by someone who said, you can't make that up. I just said it looked like somebody depressed. And you get in a new car and rich man or rich lady, something about this situation, you're going to be getting some good news from somebody here in a new home. Tapes in the house. Your prediction was true. I really want to look at that. Your head. Somebody trying to get in your head. I believe that. You could be having some kind of weird dreams. Yeah, I'm trying to get in your head. So somebody could be sending you some kind of, um, you know how people can do, I don't, I don't think it's called telekinesis or they could be like traveling 
towards you, but through your dreams, doing stuff to get your attention. I'm going to be honest. I was talking to a client about something like this yesterday. Yo, I stayed on the client on the phone with that certain client. Certain clients I just like. I mean, she she didn't rush me or nothing. I don't like to be rushed. So I stayed on the phone with her for a little bit. I was on the phone with her. I was talking to her. She cool. She was an empath like me, so I don't sound crazy to her. Cause you know I like to talk. You know sometimes when other empaths call me, they're interesting. Cause it's like our minds are connect, and they sometimes they can. Cause she actually was reading me without no cards. It's weird. I said she even she even described the inside of my house. She said I saw you in the living room. She said, but your house is split. I said, yeah, you right. My house split. She said, for real. I said, yeah, girl. Yeah, I've been thinking about like um, doing something with the back of the house, but shoot, that take money. I want to turn it into a gym, but that take money too. But anyway, um, but we was talking about this yesterday. Let me not get off track because I will. I had told her, I said, girl, I said, you ever like had a weird dream? It's like where you're thinking about something. I mean, you ain't even thinking about hardly nothing. I'm going to be honest, my mind be blank all the time. And, but twice I could see this vision of this, this person in this dream more than twice. And this person is doing all kind of stuff to this person. And the person wakes up confused and everything like that. I was like, girl, I don't know what that is. But it's somebody who was trying to like get in your head. Like they can send you thoughts and you could be like dealing with this person in a dream and everything. And remember it said I had a dream. So you're dealing with this person and you don't even know this person. And you're dealing with them in ways that, you know, you're like, oh my God. Because you could be um, celibate, not doing anything. But you're dealing with this person in a way. So there's somebody trying to get in your head. It's a rich man. Got murky thoughts. They're sitting there looking in the mirror. You probably woke up and was out of breath. Like, what was that? They said, the good Lord brought you to me. So they're trying to use something to get <laughs> towards you. Uh, well, yeah, see, it said your prediction was true. So, this person not happy, but they trying to get in your head. I don't, that sounds so weird. So far-fetched. So, rich woman or rich man trying to get in your head. You might start waking up having weird dreams about this person that you don't even know. They might come in the form of, of somebody else. Like a shapeshifter or something like that here. But well, by chance, you could actually meet this person or something like that that's trying to get in your head. I feel like you're going to intuitively um, know, that, know when you meet this person that that's them. Like, like, I feel like I met you before. That's that deja vu. Like, I feel like I know you. Or even if you talk to this person, like, I feel like I know your behind. Don't I know you? No, you don't know them. You only saw them in your dreams. I feel like you didn't even like the dream. I got to breathe. Please, back up off of me. So you was like, I don't even like that dream. That dream was weird as I don't know what. That's Tony Braxton. I got to breathe. Back up off of me. So let's keep going. So we got somebody trying to get in somebody's head. Yep. So one of y'all said you already know that. Yeah. I keep getting it, so let's look at it. It says someone else is doing the things that you should have done. Because I feel like you're going to find somebody who treats you right. Yeah, go ahead and find somebody that treats you right. So you're going to find somebody that treats you right. Or somebody's going to find you. I feel like somebody's going to find you by the good Lord. 
So the good Lord, you must be praying for this person or something like that. Or you must be praying or manifesting. And they're going to be sending you some unexpected money. A rich man or a rich girl. Somebody going to have some changes or something like that. And somebody going to be sad to see you go. <laughs> just, they going to, yeah. Let's keep going. He giving me the south side. Maybe they live somewhere else. Okay, let's keep reading this. You was asking for too much because somebody else trying to come out and talk. You was asking for too much and somebody was appearing to be true and they were superficial and they was fake. You got me tripping. And you bring me so much joy. Okay. This person don't like to be figured out. You figured this person out. I do want to grab some cards. We've been through the worst. And I can make it better. Because I was dealing with somebody that's jealous of you or something. Him jealous or she jealous or him or her. And this person here is crazy. But you got me tripping. And she need a head doctor. They want to fight all the time. I was trying to protect you from that person fighting you. Don't fight them. Don't do that. Don't fight them. I get along with you so good and you bring me so much joy. I don't even have the aggravation that I had with this other person or something. Can you talk to me? Call me back. Can you talk to me and call me back? Because you got me tripping. But you was asking too, for too much when you was asking them, you know, to spend some time with you or something like that. She tell me, oh, see, they told me man or woman, but this other person cusses them out and everything like that. They even say, I hate you, but they said, I love you and I can't blame you. Yeah, they depressed. I can't blame you for, I guess, you know, like leaving or tripping on me. Now I want you to talk to me. Um, mm. I had I was kind of confused about what I really wanted. Okay. And I was scared of love. Oh. Yeah. They say if your girl only knew that you was trying to kick it with me. That's Aaliyah. Aaliyah. She'll probably leave you alone. So, if that other person did know that you was trying to kick it with this other person here, um, they would have whooped your behind. And because this other person saw you and they saw love at first sight. Because it was love, love at first sight. It was love at first sight. It is love at first sight, for real. Probably ain't even happened right yeah this person said they got a bad reputation you got a bad reputation in my neighborhood so they got a bad reputation of being a player and everything like that so they don't fall in love bad biting words they don't fall in love but they fell in love with your behind and if they girl or if they do only knew that they was trying to kick it with you they would have got beat up and scratched up or that person would have beat you up yeah they trying to beat it for hours they would have beat you for hours so this other person said i really want to smoke some weed <laughs> i didn't want to make you unhappy so you know so i was just gonna let you go i didn't want i don't want you to leave i keep talking about you to people who don't even know you I want to take you on a trip or a vacation or something. A trip. Okay. Yeah, because it's saying I can't forget you. I'm telling you. Somebody is whining here. All right. <sighs> okay. It could be some communication problems. Yep. They said that they was fooled. Yep. And they, you know, when I'm, when I'm not around, do you think about me? Yep. They think everything about them 
They selfish. They went out of town and everything like that. They wanted you to go or they want you to go with them. You're home now. Let's 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 do another one. This person here sounds so sad. Yep. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, that was that message. Yeah, I told you they sound sad. It says that you're being watched online by somebody who is so sad. All right. They praying to the good Lord that they get some good news or some communication from you. I ain't saying call this person or nothing like that. This is my reading. Okay. This is what I got. <laughs> oh, that's what I got, y'all. Let's read. 